DIY project is inspired by these birds on a wire. Let's begin! <music> step is to open up the frame and take out the top glass sheet or plastic sheet off and this guy and the backing and the next thing we do is take the black cord elastic initially I was trying to stick um, the elastic cord to the back of the frame with the E6000 adhesive but it wouldn't stick for some reason it kept slipping it took a while so I decided to tie a knot. I'm going to cut the excess of the cord in a little bit. And then to cover that, I decided to add some of this nice teal looking yarn around the frame to add more texture. And if you notice, the black cord is put in an angle, diagonal angle type thing. I think it just gives it a little more character. And then I might add another cord here at the bottom. So now I've completed uh, wrapping the yarn around all four sides of the frame. I've left the wood out just to add a little more texture and difference in terms of design. And then over here, you don't see the cord as much. It's not as bad, but you can adjust the yarn to cover it a little bit more according to your taste. paper if you'd like if you don't have the scrapbooking paper and they come in so many designs if you were wondering where I got these cute little clothespin birds I bought them at the dollar bin in Michael's Arts and Crafts and a set of six I think yeah set of six or seven came in it and they were a dollar fifty <laughs> 